the edge. So what is the edge? Well, to explain this strange new concept, I have a special guest. The edge. I'm sorry, I had to get a dad joke in somewhere. This is the edge, the guitarist from U2. He's going to help explain what the edge is. So what is it? Okay, he says an edge server is a server located at the edge of a network. What do we mean by the edge of a network? Well, in the center of this network, we have a cloud region, EU Central 1. That's where we're hosting our e-commerce application. We have users all around who want to use it. And notice that they're not accessing the cloud directly. They're going through an intermediate server that's close to them. These servers are what we refer to as the edge or edge servers. Let's make this more concrete. Here's our node application running in Central Europe. This is running our Remix app, of course, and we're using a headless commerce uh, backend. And we have a potential customer down here in Sydney. He enters the URL of our website into his browser. His browser is going to send a packet all the way to our server in Central Europe. And that is 16,000 kilometers away. Just the network latency for that packet to go across is going to be over 260 milliseconds. Once it arrives on the server, we're going to be rendering HTML. This is a key point. We're talking about e-commerce. We're going to be doing server rendering. Okay. SEO is king. So we're definitely going to be server rendering. So there's some work done there. Once the HTML has been rendered, we've got to send it back all the way back to Sydney. Again, 16,000 kilometers latency. So just before the first byte arrives, our customer is going to be waiting for like a second, two seconds. Who knows? How is this going to look like from his point of view? Okay, he's entered the URL. The packet's traveling 16,000 kilometers. The HTML is rendering. Okay, the first bytes come back. We've got some HTML. That's good. Now the HTML's fetching some JavaScript, some maybe some uh, assets. It's making some more fetches for data that it couldn't server render, such as uh, session specific data. Ah, okay, the um, shopping cart just loaded. Some more requests going in the background, lots of latency on every single request. Finally, the image appears, the website's loaded. Not a great experience. How can we improve this? Something that we've been doing for a very long time is using CDNs, content delivery networks. This is actually a form of edge computing. This stores static assets like images, JavaScript files, CSS files on a edge server, for example, right there in Sydney, so that when those assets are required in the future, they're fetched locally instead of 500 milliseconds latency, there's 10 milliseconds latency. That solves part of the problem but we still have to go all the way to the origin server to actually get the HTML file to know what resources we then need to subsequently load. How can we solve this? Well, what if we could do the rendering not only in our origin server in Central Europe, what if we could render right there at the edge? As if we had taken our node server and scattered it around the world. That would be cool. That's what we can do now. So as well as our static CDN, we can also actually render our page right there on the edge with something like Remix Edge SSR, server-side rendering. So one really, really cool thing about Remix is that it can run on any JavaScript runtime. So we all know Node.js, but there are other Node, uh, there are other JavaScript runtimes. There is Dino, there is uh, Cloudflare Workers, there are probably others, and there are probably more to come. Remix is very smart. It abstracted that part away into adapters so it can run on any JavaScript platform. In this case, we could be running on a Cloudflare worker, for example, Cloudflare pages, and um, Remix can do the rendering right there. So the HTML is generated there in Sydney, 10 milliseconds away. There's still a problem though. To get the product data to put into our page, we still have to make a call back to our headless server in Central Europe. We're still going to incur latency. But edge computing can help with that too, because we can cache our API responses at the edge. So that product has already been requested in the past. The response has been cached right there in Sydney. So now let's look at it. When he wants to visit our website, he makes a request. The edge server can 
start rendering the um, page with Remix. When it needs data, it grabs it from the edge in an in a API cache. It returns it to the customer and every resource that is needed by that web page to fully render it is right there in a CDN also. So everything that he needs is right there in Sydney. Instead of 500 or 1000 milliseconds latency, there's 10 milliseconds or 50 milliseconds. Much better. This is what I want to show you today. It's an online shop backed by Venger. It's built, of course, with Remix running on Cloudflare Pages, which is an edge computing platform. And the API is cached by Stellate, which is an API caching service, which uses the Fastly Edge network to cache API responses. So we've got everything in the mix that I've talked about. So this should be good. Let's take a look. So here's the website. It's available at remix-storefront.venger.io. I'll just take you on a really quick tour. Here's a landing page. We can drill down, look at these categories, camera, photo, take a look at this. And as you can see, it's running pretty fast. We can filter, add to cart. We can take a look at the cart, modify it. All of this is happening against a real API. We can search. So that's what it's like to use. I'm sure you can agree it's pretty fast, but just how fast can we have an objective measure of it? Well, let's take a look at page speed insights and we will take this product detail page and drop it in there. And now it's going to run its analysis. And what we're hoping to see, of course, is lots of green circles with big numbers approaching 100, hopefully. Let's see what it gives us. First of all, we're going to see the mobile results. Okay, lots of green circles and almost 100 in all of those. If we go over to the desktop version, aha, okay, this is looking really nice. We have basically 100 and everything almost. Accessibility needs a little tweak. And these numbers right here are ridiculously good. So it's fast, it's objectively very fast. Let's see if we can get a measure of the benefits that edge computing is bringing in this situation. Our origin server in this case is in Europe. I'm in Austria, so we're not really seeing the full capabilities of the edge, but let's see if we can view this website from different locations around the world. Here's a, a page that I found that lets us do this. So it's going to make a request to this website from Singapore, Brazil, Virginia, California, Ireland, Australia, and let's see what the results are. So they all come in. Look at these. 6 milliseconds, 14 milliseconds from Brazil, Virginia, 1 millisecond, Australia, 14 milliseconds, California, 2 milliseconds. This is, I can't think of a better illustration of this entire concept of headless and edge than this. The results speak for themselves. I'm going to shut up now. That's the end of the demo.